this is Pocket Princess Cosplay, and today I'm going to show you how to make Sylveon ears with posable ribbons. So let's get started! So what you're going to need to begin is EVA foam, craft foam, a dremel, a snap razor, a plastic headband, I very highly recommend getting a thick one, a heat gun to seal the foam, a pattern, I have one available on my Etsy, or you can draw up your own. A thick floral wire, or really any kind of thick wire, but you're not going to want to use a hanger because it's a little bit too hard to bend. You're going to want to pin down your pattern with some pins. Contact cement, paint of your choice. Velcro is also optional to help the headband stay on a wig nice and sturdy, and of course, plastic dip. Once you have your ears drawn out, you're going to want to pin it down, trace it, and then cut it out. Remember to flip your pattern and cut out the other side. If your foam has a rough texture, you can either sand it down or you can glue craft foam on that side. The inside of the ear is going to be craft foam. Use the contact cement to glue it into place. And then once that's dry, we can move on to the bow and the ribbons. Now you're going to get your bow template ready and also the two ribbons. I made the one that swoops down just a little bit longer. The one that swoops down I made 15 and a half inches and the one that goes up is about 14. Now for each ribbon you're going to want to cut out three pieces. Now in the middle piece, you're going to want to cut out a section of the foam just about as thick as your wire and about 10 inches long. Next we're going to glue all of the pieces together and then also glue the wire inside of the middle piece. Try to make sure that the wire is as flat as possible when you glue it in just so there is almost no bumps on the outside. Now you can trim off any excess pieces and also sand it down if you'd like. Now for the bow piece and the rectangle, I used two pieces of craft foam glued together to make it thicker. Now you're going to fold each end into the middle and glue it down. And then you're going to also glue down the middle rectangle into the center of the bow. If you want your ears to be a little bit smoother, you can use the Dremel to sand the edges so that they aren't so rough. Now it's time to attach it to the headband. You're going to want to use the Dremel to sand the shine off of the headband so that glue sticks to it a little bit better. And then we pin it in place on a foam head. And then also decide where you're going to put your ears and either mark on the headband or you can just use pins to have a place marker. And then of course we glue them down. So now we're going to want to cut off where the ribbon would be behind the bow. We're going to want to cut it into like a taper so that it can hide behind the bow a lot easier. Also make sure to check it so that you know that you're cutting enough off to be hidden behind the bow. Now we're going to take some of the width off of the ribbon and make it so that it goes from being thick to really thin so that when we overlay them, it's not very bulky. Do this to each piece. And the next part is gluing everything together. Uh, my camera actually messed up, so I don't have this part filmed, but I'm gonna try to explain it as good as I can. Now that both ribbons have been sanded down, you can glue one on top of the other. 
and then the bow. And then if you didn't add wire to the top uh, ribbon, then glue it to the back and also the top of the ear. And now we're almost done. The last few things is you want to plasti dip it and then also paint it. The last optional thing is to glue on a Velcro piece to the bottom part of your headband and then sew on the other half of the Velcro to your wig. And that's it! You've got your Sylveon ears finished! Thank you so much for watching my video, I hope that it helped, and if you have any questions, you can write them in the comments. And if you're interested, here's my other social media!